Good evening and welcome to Newsroom Live on NDTV's YouTube channel. Here's where you get all the news, the headlines that matter to you. This isn't about other people's opinions, it's just the news. So what are the top headlines this evening on NDTV? Well, the big headline is that the GOC, that's the Army Commander in Charge of the South, has said there are inputs of a terror alert. He said empty boats were found in Gujarat, Sir Creek. Now, that's important also because, of course, in Kerala, it's currently Onam season. The army says they're fully prepared. But also Kerala has put all DGPs, especially of coastal areas, on high alert. So the army is saying that they're fully aware, we have the inputs and they are taking action. The other big news coming in, the Prime Minister said today at a climate summit in New Delhi that India will ban single-use plastic in the coming years. He's in fact urged the world to do the same. So India taking the lead in pushing for a ban on single-use plastic. Remember, it's also a campaign that you can do already. Lots of film stars and others are joining in by actually getting rid of plastic bottles and using either steel or glass water bottles. So we can all join in as part of that campaign. And NDTV, of course, doing a special focus on this in our telethon on the 2nd of October, Mahatma Gandhi's birth anniversary. The other big headlines are not so good news coming from the auto sector. Again, August has been a terrible month. And one of India's biggest manufacturer, Ashok Leland, has announced more shutting of plants for certain days, up to 18 days in some areas. So that's worrying news coming in there. The other big headlines we're looking at is, well, a young law student in Saharanpur of Uttar Pradesh has accused BJP leader Swami Chinmayanand for raping her for over a year. So far, there were no reactions from Chinmayanand or the Uttar Pradesh police. We'll keep you updated on that developing story. A quick look also at some sport news. Well, Nadal may have won the title, but Medvedev won hearts. We've got lots more on his speech, which is trending. And also Afghanistan beat Bangladesh with a captain taking a 10-wicket haul. And of course, good news for NDTV and all our viewers is that Ravish Kumar has won Asia's Nobel in his acceptance speech. He made the point that the media can't become like a WhatsApp university. What are the headlines and stories you want us to cover more of? Write into us on our YouTube channel. We'll get back and of course, keep taking part in our many polls. That's it for me for now, but we'll be back with Newsroom Live.